Thank you, Senators. Thank you for leading the charge, uh, Senate President Sweeney. Thank you, uh, Assemblyman Gashur, for being uh, the man who started this all. Thank you, Senator Weinberg. Um, I'm here on a more personal note. I'm a, a freshman in the Assembly, but I spent the last four years as a mayor and performed close to 50 marriages, a third of which were civil unions, and had to explain the difference between marriage and civil unions. Uh, but more personally, my partner of over 31 years and I, we've been raising a family in Bergen County for almost 24 years. One of our sons, Kyle, is here uh, to testify. And I can assure you there is a difference. There is a separate but equal uh, idea that goes on in our lives. My partner had open heart surgery a week ago Monday. So you have to explain to the people in the hospital what a partner in a civil union means. It almost sounds ridiculous that you have to explain this over and over again. As I said, over 31 years, we uh, get up and go to work. We put our pants on one leg at a time. We go to church every Sunday. I'm happy to see our bishop is here. Our church performed a holy union in 1995 for us when our priest said, uh, we have kids, it's time to get serious about this. So uh, it's still not called a marriage. It's something that makes us separate from other people. How do you explain what a partner in a civil union is to an emergency room physician? How do you explain that to an insurance agent? How do you explain that to your children, that there's a difference? I had the honor of taking our youngest child to see the first black president inaugurated. I'd like to be able to say that anything is possible in our state as well and in our nation. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. I see that you have your son here if he wants to say anything while he's here. Otherwise, we're going to move on to the next panel. I know he, he, signed, a, chairman, if he, he signed a sign-up slip, so while you're here, sir, will not you? Uh, I don't really have much to say. I don't, I don't have anything prepared. It's just uh, as their son, they, they, they took me in when I was uh, a little kid. They always treated me and my brothers with uh, tremendous respect, and it seems a little bit ridiculous that uh, there's all these other problems going on, and these guys can't get married you know, and do what they want to do behind closed doors without having it uh, analyzed, uh, you know, by everybody. It just doesn't seem very fair. They're loving people. I love them. Uh, people love them. They're amazing. Uh, it, it just seems like back, back in the day, like, you know, not being able to, them not being able to get married together, it's like, all right, black people can, you know, you can drink water, but you can't drink out of the same, out of the same water fountain as us. You, you can have water, but you can't drink the, the, the same water, like, you know, the same water. It's, it's a little ridiculous. It should be, you know, equal. I, you know, the state, you know, the state, this country is all about equality. I think we need to just get past this and move on to bigger things. Thank you very much for your testimony. Uh, Senator Weinberg. A quick comment. Uh, Tim, thank you. Uh, Kyle, I first met you when you were a very little boy and have watched you uh, grow up to have the self-confidence to come here. And I watched Tim looking at you. We have a, uh, an expression in the Jewish religion called kvelling. You know, when you look at your children with pride, that's how your dad just looked at you, Kyle. So thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much.